Welcome to Ridiculous. I hope you're doing well wherever you are in the world. I hope you're living your best life. Hey everybody. Whew. Where do I start? Um, my husband and I, we have been married for 16 years. We love each other. Um, at least that's what I think. Or, I don't know. We were in love. We have a daughter that's now 13 years old. The first 10 years of our marriage was extremely wonderful. We did have our ups and downs, just like any other marriage, but nothing really major. We both loved each other with everything we had, and life was essentially perfect. Well, so I thought. Eight years ago, I found out my husband had been talking slash texting another woman. I immediately confronted him. I was devastated, angry, hurt, and confused. I didn't know what to do or what to think. Although I was infuriated, I blamed myself. I asked myself so many questions like, where did I go wrong? What was I not giving my husband that caused him to step out on our marriage? We had always been open and honest about everything as far as I knew. We were pretty transparent with each other and had no trust issues whatsoever. Our bedroom life was great. We were happy and just living life. Of course he tried to deny it and act like it never happened, but but when I showed him that I found some of those messages and his plan was to go to this woman's house after I had went to bed that night, he admitted it was true. He said he was lonely and he didn't want anything out of it. He just wanted to feel wanted and see if he still had that potential to get someone and after acting a complete fool and going crazy I eventually calmed down and tried to actually think about the situation you know this had to be my fault that's what I was thinking maybe I wasn't giving him enough attention maybe I wasn't enough for him when he needed me to be he was begging for forgiveness and didn't want me to leave I did my best to move on with him and tried to be understanding and forgiving So eventually we moved on and I dedicated myself to making it a point to make him feel wanted and needed. I bent over backwards to make him feel loved. I'm sorry, but to be honest, I would sometimes have flashbacks of what he did and I would revert back to being angry with him and have resentment and say nasty things at at times. I would bring up the other woman and just say so many negative things, you know? I was highly upset, but who wouldn't be? I'm only human. I was working on getting past it in a negativity, but I just kept making snarky comments and eventually they did become less and less. I actually thought things were going to be okay and we were going to be able to move on together. I had high hopes. Fast forward a few months. He started acting funny and really suspect. He wouldn't leave his phone laying around, but if he did, he'd make sure to lay it face down. He started smoking a lot more than usual. Smoking wasn't allowed in the house, so that just gave him a good excuse to be outside. It's as if he took that opportunity to be outside more. He would stay in our shop more often and then started accusing me of really crazy things. So I asked him if something was going on or something was wrong. He would get defensive and tell me I was wrong and overreacting, or I was feeling guilty for something I must be doing. At this point, I had never cheated on or even thought about another man in that way. Well, one night I looked out the window and noticed him to be on a phone that was not his normal phone while he was outside smoking. I didn't say anything and waited for him to go to sleep. After some of my detective skills, I found the phone outside in our shop plugged into the charger. It was a Boost mobile phone that he had purchased to text the same woman he was talking to before. I woke him up out of his sleep and I asked if there was anything he needed to tell me. I was screaming in his face. He said no, there was nothing to tell me, etc, etc. Do you guys know he tried to deny it even after I handed him the phone that he was hiding? Then we were back to he was so sorry and he loves me, blah blah blah, yada yada yada, that BS. So we eventually went on with our lives once again and I worked on trying to forgive him again. I decided I needed some time to myself to think so I stayed at my mom's house for a night or two. I wanted 
wanted to stay longer, but he kept showing up to my mom's door and he said he would not leave until I came home. I ended up going home because it was just easier that way. I didn't want all that drama at my mom's house and at least me and my child would be able to sleep. A week later, I literally moved out all my stuff and rented a house, but he just kept coming there every night when he got off work and would sit in the driveway. This went on for about a week or two. I was going crazy. I have never been so upset or lost in my life. I didn't know how to forgive or forget and move on. I wanted to, but I'm not really sure if I really, really wanted to. Anyway, I ended up getting on Facebook and messaging my ex. Wrong move, I know, but I did it anyway. We started talking more and more. He was a sweet talker and had me all in love all over again. Or was it lust? I wanted to believe that someone really did love me. My husband ended up finding out eventually and it was all bad. So terrible. I felt absolutely horrible. I told him the whole truth. I felt like my intentions were to make him feel the pain I was feeling over his affair. That was honestly what I felt like I was doing. However, I started having feelings for the other man. My husband forgave me and I quit talking to the other man. Then the comments came, one after another. We both didn't trust each other. We had fight after fight. The whole situation was so messy and exhausting. Then came along the app called Snapchat. I was Snapchatting friends and my husband. He even had a Snapchat. But guess what? He ended up Snapchatting my best friend and asked her to send him pictures of her bum. After I called him out, we both eventually deleted Snapchat and our Facebook accounts. He kept bringing up slick comments about my affair, but they were warranted, right? I guess I deserved it. I quit commenting about the other woman. I still feel horrible and extremely miserable. After about a year later, I ended up reaching out to the other man again. He consoled me. He was there for me. He said all the right things. At that time, I just, I needed somebody to be on my side. I ended up cheating on my husband with the other man. Now what do I do? I love my husband, but how could I do such a thing if I loved him? What's wrong with me? I had all these questions in my head, but continued to have an affair with the other man. And guess what? My husband found out again. Yeah, he's angry, sad, and heartbroken. Right now, I'm so confused, lost, lonely, and I really, I can't stand to look at myself in the mirror. I feel like I got played by my ex, the other man, because he knew all my weaknesses. I feel so stupid. My husband tries to talk to me about the affair and wants to know why I did it, and he wants to know all the details and why he comes second. He wants to know if I really love him and if he can trust me again. I try to find answers to all his questions, but I don't know how to respond, honestly. I don't have anything to say and I don't know why. It's like I'm frozen. I eventually came to the conclusion that I'm unable to get past my husband's affair. But in his eyes, that was eight years ago. She didn't mean anything to him and it was only messaging. There were no real feelings and it feels like it wasn't even real at all. Those are his words. I find myself turning everything into being about the other woman. Sometimes I get angry when he asks me about my affair. And, and just think about it. How do I even have the right to be angry? He shouldn't even be speaking to me at this point, especially after what I've done. I can't get past his messaging affair, but I expect him to get past my actual physical affair. I don't even know what I'm even doing anymore. I don't know what will make me happy. How am I being so selfish to think about what would make me happy? Shouldn't I be thinking about how to make my husband happy? How to make him trust me again? How to make him feel loved like he's not number two? I thought I wanted to leave. I thought I wanted out of the marriage. I have told him I feel like I need some time to think, to find out if I'm actually happy in our marriage. How am I going to make him happy if I'm not happy? My husband is trying to be understanding and has been apologizing to me. I seriously do not deserve this man. He deserves so much more than what I have given him the last couple of years. I know that. I have been honest with him about my feelings. He will be so nice to me one minute, then the next he's down my throat with all these questions again. It's driving me crazy. He has been taking off work early so that he can come home and camp out when I get off work so that he knows that I'm home. The other day when I pulled up in our driveway, he was outside and was upset at me because he could hear my music when I pulled up and I had my sunglasses on. He said when he's depressed, he doesn't even want to turn the radio on. So he's confused that 
how I'm acting like this and blasting my music. But in my opinion, the music was just on. It wasn't even loud. I couldn't even tell you what song was playing. These days, he constantly goes through my phone and it's so annoying. I try to explain to him, but he doesn't get it. I feel like I should be more understanding that he's going to check up on me, but isn't that a little extreme? He has even gone so far to say that if I'm truly sorry, I would show him how much I wanted him. Y'all get what I mean. He expect me to bend over every chance he see me around the house. He said that's the only time that it takes his mind off of what I did, so I should do it all the time for him. He even said I owed it to him. I explained to him that making me feel like that, like I have to do it, does not make me want him. If anything, it makes me resent him and not want to do anything at all with him. I told him it made me feel like a lady of the night or something, which he replied, you are. I know this whole situation is not being fair to anyone, but I can't seem to make myself make a change. I tried to leave my husband, but I see the pain in his eyes and it just kills me. I worry about him and I don't want him to be alone. When I do try to leave him, he threatens me and say that he will take our daughter away from me. He makes me feel guilty. He argues with me about it in front of our daughter. She's 13 years old now and she cries so much because we're always fighting. I feel so guilty on every level and even truly hate myself. But yet and still, I continue to text with the other man. Do I even know what I want? Let me know what y'all think.